What's up internet? I'm sure this has happened to you before. Nakaipon ka na and excited na excited ka na pumunta sa Gilmore or wherever your favorite store is. Hopefully hardware sugar. Pero napaisip ka bigla. Gusto mo bumili ng hardware but you're not sure ano na may mga prices ngayon. Sana may naglilis sa ng prices ng mga malaking PC stores para makita natin yung average price per component for GPUs and CPUs. Well, guess what? Meron. Ito yung episode for you. Every month, we track the CPU and GPU prices from the four largest computer stores in the country tapos yung average namin. Lahat ng data na to nasa Google Sheet below so you can access it anytime kung kailan ka bibili para at least may ballpark figure ka. Mahal ba tong 1650 na to? Sapat na pera ko for that 4018. And pabigyan mo na kami, hindi na namin sinasabi yung mga names ng computer stores na yun kasi, well, Ayaw naman namin ng free publicity. The only store that gets free publicity here is Hardware Sugar. And someone else who gets publicity, not free, is our sponsor. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang ang order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsiziki ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sadong depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, kicking the episode off with the 4060 and it makes its debut with an average price of around 20,300 pesos. This is more than the SRP of $300 but again, as we mentioned in a previous video, what can you expect? Mas mahal talaga dito sa atin. We do have a 4060 which is around 18,000 pesos pero single fan lang siya. And the prices we're showing here are for dual fans. You probably don't need dual fans for a 4060. It is very power efficient, meaning it doesn't get too hot. And you probably won't be overclocking that thing a lot anyway. Of course, single fan GPUs also ideal for smaller builds like ITX. But I just wanted to point that out that there is a lot of detail that goes into those prices. Hindi mo lang pwede sabihin na, oh, it's a 4060 and it's 20,300 pesos yung average price. But the details really matter. Yun nga, dual fan, single fan. Sometimes one version has more memory than the other version for other cards, not the 4060, at least for now. But yun nga, details matter, especially when you're talking about computer hardware. Nice price drop for the 1650 and in general, the older NVIDIA cards are enjoying price drops because of the introduction of cheaper 40 series cards. So big price drop for the 1650, also a very big price drop for the 3050. Now the 3060 which the 4060 replaces is just slightly cheaper than a brand new 4060. And you know for this price difference, it's around 500 peso difference, you should get the 4060 kahit mas mahal siya. I think it's roughly around 30% faster or so if I remember correctly than a 3060 12GB. Now ideally, the 4060 would be cheaper than the older 3060 and ganun siya abroad. Pero dito sa atin, the prices haven't really caught up and yun nga, it's really more expensive dito sa atin. 4070, slight price increase although basically goes back up to what it was around May this year. Bit of a significant price drop for the 4080, around 1,000 peso difference from last month. But there was a big jump in the 4090 prices. Actually, the most expensive we've seen since March. So quite a big price increase, around a 7,000 peso price increase. But the one that really surprised me, na sobrang tomas yung presyo niya, is the 6500 XT. Generally, the AMD GPUs are supposed to be cheaper and you can rely on that. And the price has been going down with the introduction of the 7000 series cards. And we keep saying that sobrang good value nitong 
6,000 series ng AMD, especially at current prices. But there was a price increase, a, a price rebound as it were. Parang bumagsak siya dun sa floor and then nag-rebound siya. So last month, it was at around 10,200 pesos. Now it's almost 13,000, which was only slightly cheaper last April. We were thinking that the 6,000 series cards would be a good buy and that their price would remain consistent. Yung medyo pababa siya. But now there was a big price rebound for the 6500 XT. The 6700 XT is quite hard to find. We've had no luck from any of the four stores for the past two months. And so sobrang in demand. Kahit sa mga suppliers namin, hirap makasource no 6700 XT. Which is really what AMD wants. It wants to close out the inventory of the old 6000 series so they can concentrate and the consumers can concentrate on the new 7000 series. 500 peso fluctuation downwards for the 7900 XTX. I do want to point out that the most expensive card of AMD is like almost 40% cheaper than the most expensive card of NVIDIA. So I mean, that's the tale of two manufacturers right there. 7950X, not much change. Small price decrease for the 7800X3D. Very good CPU if you're looking for an AM5 platform CPU. The 7600X was supposed to be sort of the entry level for AM5, but the price has been prohibitive. Although the price has gone down by a nice margin. Oh, more than a 1,000 peso price drop. And there is the cheaper 7600 non-X version available now. Now, the 5600X is a great example of an entry level for its CPU line. Well-priced, good performance, and it manages to keep its price. There hasn't been a significant price drop for the 5600X for the past year. <laughs> if you look back all the way to January, the price has slid just very slightly, but still keeping its own. Still a lot of interest in the 5000 series CPUs of AMD. 5600G, also very good value for money. Sitting nice at 77. This is a very attractive price, especially compared to the 8500 price it was on last April. So 77, pretty good value. And we're still seeing interest in the Ryzen 5 3600, the 3000 series, which actually saw a price bump of more than 500 pesos. So still good value CPUs, yung 3000 series ng AMD. For Intel, not much change. So the 3900K is still the fastest and hottest that you can get. Basically the same price, small price difference. Small price increase for the 13600K, demonstrating that there is still is significant interest in that CPU, particularly at that price range, 13600, 13700. Although we are expecting a newer 14th gen coming out towards the end of the year. So we'll have to see how that affects the prices of the 13 series. And for the first time ever, we do not have any stores selling the 12500. Perhaps an indication na paubos na sila. Just going into the deep dive per shop, Joker has some pretty good prices. Although, again, just to focus on the 4060, only two stores have it, which is kind of surprising. It is quite available from our suppliers. So Joker saw price decreases across the board. Price decrease for the 4090 of Wedge, but a price increase for the 4090 of Wash. Joker is still selling at a pretty expensive 127500. Actually, the exact same GPU is WinForce. Ah, no, sorry, they're different. So, WinForce yung 127500 from Joker. Tapos gaming OC yung kay Wash at 107,000. Wedge also seeing pretty good prices. Just a very small price increase for the 1650. Although, as we mentioned earlier, overall, bumaba yung presyo ng 1650 by quite a lot. Although the average is really brought down by the 8,000 peso 1650 of wash. So overall for Nvidia cards, you're seeing price decreases. Not large ones except maybe for the 1650. But even that one, mostly that's caused by the large price decrease of wash. Before it was 8,625 last month for the same GPU. Now it's only 8,000 or just below 8,000. So for Nvidia, slight price decreases, mostly across the board. AMD surprising that both stores, sorry, two out of the three stores that have the 6500 XT have 
increase their prices. And like, itong kay Roy, it's at 15,000. It's almost 16,000, which is kind of bonkers for a 6500 XT. I mean, last month it was just 11,000. Then to Malunsha to 15,905. Also seeing a slight price increase for their 7900 XTX. But you can get a reasonably priced 6500 XT from Joker at 9,800. And on the CPU side, you mostly want to buy from Wedge if you can figure out who he is because he's the only one who has a 7800X3D and that has dropped a little bit, but very slightly, like by 90 pesos lang. Um, I can't quite remember. Parang sold out na rin ata kami sa 7800X3D, although we do plan to restock. But across the board, Wedge has a lot of good prices for CPUs. And then the other shops just have a sprinkling of slight price increases, slight price decreases. Like the 5600G from Joker is at a good 7.9. It was 8.150 before, last month. And as already mentioned, none of the big four stores have a 12500 in stock. So not as dramatic as last month's price changes. There was really like a big price decrease last month for nvidia gpus and i it was the only time since we've been doing this since last october that all of the shops registered price decreases for their gpus no one had a price increase so pretty much same same small price decreases if you're running after the price it really does matter where you buy so canvassing is important there are big price differences even among the big stores to end the episode, just a bit of a backstory for our sheet. I've done some maintenance on it to make it easier to follow. So you notice that now, when you open up the sheet, the first information that you see is from the current episode. Dati kasi yung nakikita mo yung pinakalumang episode because we started the sheet and then it started left to right. So the first data that you would see is from October 2022. And over time, it seemed kind of silly that we had to ask people to keep scrolling all the way down to the right to get to the latest data. It's not very useful, not very intuitive, not very user-friendly. So I basically flipped the sheet and now when you open it, you see the most up-to-date data. And this is from July 18 for this episode. And then when you scroll towards the right, then the data gets older and older. Especially now, it's much easier to see at a glance, oh, ito yung previous month, and then ito yung current month. And we did the same thing for the summary. So now, the leftmost is the most recent data, and then the, as you go towards the right, it becomes older and older. Reflecting that, oh nga naman, when you open the sheet, you want to see the most relevant data. Why make it hard for people to see that? Very small thing, but it's interesting how when you start something out, you think this is the best way to do it, but as time goes on, maybe you get more customers, more viewers, more data, then you have to start rejiggering it to make it more useful, to make it more practical. Kumbaga, hindi to one size fits all for the sheet and for the procedures of hardware sugar. Where dati, okay naman siya, it was working out, but then, yun nga, circumstances change, we do need to keep updating. That's the kind of philosophy we have for the shop and for the kind of videos that we do for the channel. And let's try to make everything as easy as possible for the viewer, for the customer, as intuitive as possible, as useful as possible. That includes these little links. Before, they weren't uh, clickable, but now they're clickable. And then you can see the preview of the episode. So this is the ninth episode of Price Watch. We do it once a month. But this Google Sheet is online all the time. You can refer to it whenever you need a quick price check. And also, just a bit of housekeeping, I decided to try a different camera angle. Usually, it's here in front of my face, but well, I, you know, I get bored and sometimes I just want to mix things up a little bit. Let me know if you find this camera angle better. This is the camera angle I've been using for live streams of my games as well. So a bit further out, you do get a nice view of the monitor I have here. So I have four monitors, one, two, three, four. And this is propped up by a monitor arm underneath, which you can't see. And there you go. The data really speaks for itself. Might want to hang on for a little bit. Prices will probably still decrease incrementally as we are expecting NVIDIA to release more GPUs in the coming months. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. 
kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.